Okay, today is uh, October 11th, 2010, and we're looking at a chart for PMI. Uh, before we do anything, I need to let you know that uh, I'm not a professional investment counselor, financial counselor. I'm just a guy who draws pretty lines on charts. Any investment decision that you might make needs to be based upon your own decisions, not mine, or any implied advice you may think you're getting from this uh, video. In other words, you act on your own free will and I'm not coercing you to do anything. And if you base an investment decision upon this chart and lose your shirt, um, I, I'm not going to be responsible for that because that is something that can happen. And uh, I hope it doesn't, but it certainly can. So anyway, uh, let's draw some lines. First, let's get rid of this. Uh, PMI. They are in the um, they are in the uh, mortgage insurance business, and uh, you could probably tell by the fact that they went from fifty to twenty five cents or so that uh, it had something to do with the housing market. Uh, it it really traded down in a terrible uh, channel here. Just, uh, I mean, just ugly, ugly, ugly. Um, but it did break out of this channel, kind of meander around, and it's just kind of snaking along here between uh, the high ones and as high as uh, I think it got up to, uh, you know, seven range, something like that. But uh, there's some other interesting things about this chart that I want to show you. The first one is we get our good old friend, Mr. Inverted Head and Shoulders coming back. Uh, and uh, I think this is just another case of the left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Uh, you could even say that there was a smaller one in the middle of this somewhere, which maybe makes this kind of the, uh, uh, of the complex variety. But uh, the, the general idea being that this is the bottom, this is a, a higher low, this is a higher low, even this is a higher low. Uh, we had a breakout above that neckline, but unfortunately that breakout failed. It uh, came back under the neckline what, uh, for what I think is going to be some, some more consolidation. It's down 18 cents a day uh, today, uh, a little bit more than 4%. Uh, you might ask yourself why. Uh, I think it's because uh, somebody issued a stock alert, a stock alert on it uh, late last week, saying the trend continues up. Uh, I, I think they happen to be uh, correct in that, but it seems funny how <laughs> when when people finally get around to saying, "Oh, this is going up," that that seems to be the day or a day later it it, it turns and, and heads in the opposite direction. But uh, here's the thing I, I want you to see about this that makes it interesting. In addition to this really large inverted head and shoulders, if we go into a um, four hour, or let's go to a two hour look at this, we're going to see an even smaller head and shoulders of the inverted variety. And here's why this is interesting. If we get a measurement of the depth of the head from that neckline, that, by the way, is where you get your what, what most chart readers uh, would refer to as your minimum expected uh, target once this pattern breaks out. You take the depth of the head, and I'm given a little bit, of, a little bit less just to be safe. You look at the level of the uh, breakout, where the neckline is, and then you look at how far that goes up. So here we end up with a target price that's right around $6. If we get that target price of $6 from this small pattern, the interesting thing is that will, by necessity, take out the, uh, the neckline from the really large pattern. And if that gets taken out for the second time, it would be my strong suspicion that that level then finally does become the kind of strong support you would expect. Um, I've got a position in PMI. I bought on the pullback right here, sat through uh, a number of months of being uh, 
in a, in a losing trade, frankly. But uh, I still saw this big pattern, and I thought, you know, this, the, I, I just don't think this is going to go down and make a new low. I think it's going to be a temporary condition. Uh, I did lighten up right here a little bit. But then when I saw this pattern develop, I, I added about uh, 40 or 50 cents ago. So anyway, th I just thought this was an interesting chart. This might be one to keep an eye on. And uh, again, this is PMI. And uh, here, let me put the name up there for you. Make it big. PMI. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. See you next time.